Hey there guys, welcome back to Ashmar Arboretum. And as you see, I'm outside today at my berry barrel patch and I am trying to prep for the Arctic Blaster getting ready to receive tonight. It is the middle of March and here we are supposed to get temperatures down to 23 degrees this evening. So I already have my honeyberries. These two here, this is a Borealis honeyberry and an Aurora honeyberry and my uh, fall gold ever bearing uh, gold raspberry and my blueberries here they're already starting to bud out the the honeyberries here they have actually started putting on blooms so I have got to get these covered up they will not survive the, the the extreme cold temperature like that all the blooms will fall and die off and that's not what I want so I have here is what's called a frost cover and I'm gonna get these covered up and I'm gonna try to cover up as much of these plants here as I can and I'm going to put you on hyperspeed and show you how to do this. These things are fairly inexpensive and they're not designed to be a greenhouse or a low tunnel type condition. What these are designed for is just to keep the frost off your plants. If I was to put a piece of vapor barrier or some sort of clear plastic or opaque plastic over top of this, that would create the greenhouse effect. I'm not trying to do that. Right now, all I need to do is I need to keep the frost off of these tender young plants. So that way they don't get stunned back and we have a fairly decent chance of getting the fruit this spring and, and summer. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on hyperspeed and I'm going to show you how I do this. Real quick though, I want to show you this. These are the Borealis blooms. Each one of these is going to be a honeyberry. I have some down here as well and I'm, I'm trying to save these I'm trying to protect these I, I did a video on how to prune these back and they are coming out in full force and this is what I like to see but I don't want to I don't want to risk losing these because of the, the conditions we're having tonight and actually over the next couple of days so I'm gonna get these covered up and in the morning after the frost is is starting to burn off i'm gonna come out here and uncover them so they get sunlight all day and then when i get home from work i'll get them covered back up you know the same with this raspberry that's a raspberry i propagated when i purchased this raspberry it was nearly dead and i brought it home gave it some tlc and i think what i'm gonna end up doing is i'm going to cut it off right here since i've got this one started and I'm going to go ahead and layer that one over there and get another one going. And see if I can get two, maybe three more off of this this year to start these. I ended up getting one piece of fruit off of this this last season. And that was really, really tasty. So I'm looking forward to getting more of those. And I don't know how well you can see this or not. But the buds on the, the blueberries are starting to swell. I got five or six different types of blueberries here. And the garlic right there, it's really starting to take off. So... I'm going to try to get that all covered up right now. Okay. I have the majority of that covered up. I'm not too worried about the strawberries because they have about three and a half inches of, of pine duff on top of them. I'm going to throw a bucket over top of the garlic down there and uh, down there. And that'll be taken care of, but I will wait a little bit later today to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and get some weights on this and this is going to be done. You know, covering up your plants, it only takes a few minutes and it does make a difference on the viability and the amount of produce you will be able to produce for yourself later on. These things are pretty susceptible to cold weather. So it just takes a little bit of time. You can use something as simple as trash bags, plastic sacks, old buckets, um, even tarps, bed sheets. All you need to do is keep the frost off of your plants. That's all you got to do. And I'm not too worried about if the frost sits on top of this and might burn the tips just a little bit. I'm just trying to keep the, the majority of the blooms and the majority of the plant alive. That's all I need to do. So if you like this type of content and you want to learn more about gardening and homesteading and forestry and horticulture and silviculture and land and wildlife management, please give my channel a like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.